open to that. Uh, we have Anna with us from Thailand. We have Archana and we have Ashish Singh. So uh, 20th of November is the Transgender uh, Remembrance Day. Yeah. And you've come up with a very sensitive film. Yeah. Uh, it's the time for reflection and hope. So what is the film about? The film is about uh, an individual's journey. You know, uh, I wouldn't call it a trans person's journey. Okay. I would like to call it a, an individual journey to fit into the society which we all try to at some point of time in our lives. Sure. Uh, that we all try to fit into the society, you know, in a peer group or uh, uh, in school and then in college and in workspace. Everywhere we're trying to fit in. And uh, in that quest, we tend to lose our own identity somewhere down the line. Sure. So the film's about embracing your identity, finding your ground uh, in life, and being confident about whoever you are. You know? uh, so that's the, uh, in the gist, that's what the film talks about, basically. Sure. Uh, and um, so how's it been like a transgender in the background? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I'm sure looking Love at Love to be, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, we have happy time, sure. happy moment. All the um, trans women in Thailand, Okay. Um, you know, they see, um, what happened in terms of the um, content that yes. I bring to Thailand okay. and the business the success, particularly the biographic book that I released out, you know, as the first CEO of Trans Women of okay. Asia. Okay. So they got inspired. Right. Right now we announced the new project with okay. Ashisha. Yes. Called Kejali. Right. That's even better. <laughs> Emphasize <laughs> into the status <laughs> of, you know. We can be genius, we can be clever, we can be successful. Absolutely. So don't uh, take us in the wrong way right. or perceive us that we are sick, we are wrong. This is the choice. No, you're wrong, you know. We just born in the wrong body. So we can adjust ourselves physically. The doctor can do it. Sure. But everything, the rest, we can do it. We can be successful. Be confident, you know, and become who you are. This right. is the movie about. So I just feel so in love uh, with the movie. Right. Um, when I saw it first time, okay. both of them came here and we saw it together. Okay. So we saw and I saw the message. Understanding. Absolutely. We have to take that into the society so discrimination will have less. So we can have the happy world. Yeah. How was your childhood? Oh, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> horrible. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I wrote everything in a book anyway. Okay. And I uh, struggle a lot in terms of my own identity. Sure. I just uh, cannot tell everyone that I I was a girl. Oh. Yeah. In the boys' school and also in a Chinese family. Sure. So you have to behave yourself. As a first son, you really have to right. become the son. So, you know, I just came out at the age of 35 in front of TV. Yeah. And I ran away from home because I proved myself already that I can do the business well. I'm successful. So I just want people to see that everything is possible. At the age of 36, I became more woman and more woman. By having the plastic surgery, I changed my face. I went um, to have the gender reassignment. Um, so I'm 100% woman. And uh, I put myself, I put my company into the stock market. So we are a public listed company. Right now, my job, my role, my contribution to the whole country of Thailand. I just want them to be proud of themselves. All the trans women or transgender, you know, all LGBT community, sure. they just have to be proud that we can do better, we can become better, when you believe that everything is possible. Yeah. So this movie, Kejidi, yes. will bring the understanding to everyone that without the knowledge, without education, people will mistake, we have the mistake in the understanding. He... In the movie, I just don't know how he did it, but incredible the way he acts and he lost so much weight. Right. Just look at sadness, woman. <laughs> You're beautiful in that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's very popular in Thailand. Yeah, so, so you can see uh, that, you know, I just would love to inspire people. 
and he did that in the movie. He did so well. I, I saw the message in the movie. Inspiration, understanding, the better world. He did that. I have to bring that to the whole world. And both of them did so well in India. They prepared so well. She's so clever in terms of writing all the script herself. So this is global phenomenon. What we see here, we cannot sit down and keep it quiet. Myself, I come this far, I have to tell people that once again, everything is possible and you see this movie, you will understand that. We can be smart, we can be genius, we can be successful. Just educate them and have them, you know, in, I mean, you know, work in the professional field. You can sure. see that you can um, have the better society. They are professional too. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I believe you have a foundation as well. Is it? Called it. Yes. Oh, so what are the activities and how do Love, you power? inspire for transsexual. Okay. Uh, trans women or transgender education. Right. All the money, all the revenue without deduction. Okay. Cause of good soul from the book. Sure. And also, you know, from the movie, we go to live. I just need to do this for everyone. Okay. For all the transgender. Not for myself anymore. This is my contribution. And uh, my inner voice tells me something that I need to do something big. Not just for my own society, but this is the masterpiece from India that can go around the world. They do all the dubbing anyway when they go to you know, each particular country. So they understand not in Hindi language and then, you know, they don't get it. They will get it. We have the good English script translator, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, from Hindi language anyway. So it's going to be big and we, are, we prepare a lot of markets, okay. I mean international content markets right. for this film. Okay. Started by my Nikon Nepe, okay. in year 2019, okay. in January, will be announced and also will be launched in the United States. Wow. So we prepare a lot in even Egypt, Middle East, South Africa, in Asia. We go to Hong Kong, we go to Korea. Uh, actually, we will be everywhere, my dear. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. But he's our Ram anyway. And he's our <laughs> handsome man, okay? In that story, he just... Mm, is yeah. <laughs> so actually, what inspired you to write such a subject? Yeah, basically... Um, uh, I read this short story in 2013 and that was given uh, to Ashish by my father-in-law. So my father-in-law is a poet and Ashish is a poet and uh, I'm a writer. So we three, we three oh, gel around a lot. <laughs> so he happened to share this short story which he had uh, gone through a few years back and uh, he happened to read it and then he gave it to me and then he's like, you just, why don't you read this story? He was like, fine. When I read the story, I fell in love with the character. Sure. Because it was journey was so it it got all the emotions out from me. I was feeling happy for her, I was feeling sad for her, feeling bad for her. I don't know. And uh, it's I never saw the story of a transgender. I just saw a story of a human being. And uh, my question was, what's wrong? What has this individual done wrong? He is being born a transgender by God. That was God's will. That was not his own will. And today, because of society, uh, societal pressure, the person cannot live his life the way he wants to or she wants to. And uh, imagine somebody in a room for 20 years, just one single room for 20 years, have never seen what's outside, only hearing through the walls, mud walls, only hearing, you know, I don't think so. She must even realize what sounds are. What are the sounds? Is she hearing some sounds? That's it, you know. And for twenty years, imagine you and I are in a room for three days. We'll go crazy. Somebody like this for twenty years, and, and the person had not done anything wrong. It's just the person was born like that. So I fell in love with that character, and the how the character comes out and fights for himself or herself, whatever you call, and. Uh, that was inspired because I, I when I was a ch uh, when I was a teenager I was a very rebel teenager and I used to always question my parents 
like you we have societal rules you know girls are supposed to wear salwar suits no shorts have to come back home by 6:30 i used to always question them why should i come back home at 6:30 you know i i want to do uh, i want to do work and my work is uh, uh, you know uh, i have to work till 11 o'clock in the night why can't i come at 11 o'clock in the night so my father used to always give me a very uh, this reason you know no, what will people say i said like, i don't care what will people say they are not they are not they can't rule my life so <clears throat> i could relate myself to that character you know like how i used to feel trapped sometimes because of the societal rules and pressures so what is happening with me was exactly happening to this character so that inspired me to write the story it's a very hard to yeah and more than that it's very symbolic you know those mud walls somebody uh, uh, is is inside a house for 20 years. it's not just literally that right. they are inside the house it's a symbolic uh, gesture also it symbolically says that you're trapped inside inside your own identity you know? you're trapped in it you Absolutely. want to break free but you can't right. only because these boundaries society. are made by the society yes. you know so it's very symbolic it says a lot of things that you know you're breaking free yeah. you know you break free when you embrace your identity so once she embraces her identity she enters the world she makes good for herself educates herself and that helps her gain a mark in the society as well but then when the veil opens and the true face of society comes right so they are <clears throat> they can accept success but they cannot accept truth which is exactly her story as well that's why she could relate you know she, her success made people accept her more uh, uh, willingly yeah. you know otherwise the story would have been different yeah. not the journey yeah no, exactly so that is what we want to tell people also and inspire people about also that you know uh, she keeps saying this you know like educate yourself make something out of yourself and people right. will respect you right sure. they might not accept who you are but they cannot avoid your success mm. right they cannot ignore your success that's right exactly. exactly so that's what they need to do that's what uh, we are also trying to do yeah. you know with lift also that's what you're trying to yes. do educate them Uh, make them uh, credible make them uh, 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 resourceful so that they can uh, uh, gain that respect command that respect rather than asking for it you know you can't ask for respect you can just earn it command it so that's what we're trying to do also through so uh, what kind of research you did So we did not challenge it. No, we did not do any research. We we just went with the story of a human being. See, like we said, yeah, it, right. it, it was. See, that's what the perception of the, the general perception is about people yes. also. Yeah. You know, in India especially, uh, uh, you must have seen also on streets. You know, mm. um, uh, you see on on general channels that they beg all the time. Right. Yeah, and they have a certain body language. Yeah. Yes. They behave in a certain way. Mm. They are not born doing that. Mm. They are mm. conditioned for that. Yes, they are taught to behave like that. Yes, right. So if a person is born, it's he's born or she's born. Mm-hmm. They will just grow up by themselves. I am born a boy. Nobody has taught me to behave in a way. Yes. I have become who I am naturally, yeah. organically. She's mm-hmm. born a girl organically. She's like that. Mm-hmm. She's organically like this. Yes, she hasn't taught herself to behave in a certain way. No, she's organically like that. Yeah, that's exactly what our reference was. You know that. it needs to it needs to be organic we cannot see a, a projected image of it exactly. sure and the win win situation <clears throat> for us was that you know uh, when ann saw the film right and uh, when the film got over and she the yeah. first thing she said you know you just played me <laughs> yes and that was without a <laughs> research <laughs> that's what a coincidence yeah. it's the first time yeah. 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 presenting an interview yes. yes yes first time the thai company actually represent Indian film, yeah, around the world. Yes, yes. Because I feel so much related to the film, to the story, and he did so well. Both of them did so well. I just, you know, would love everyone to see this, and got inspired by this, you know. Yeah. So how did the collaboration? How did you get to know him? Oh, everyone knows him. <laughs> He's very popular there. Not yes. just in Thailand, but everywhere in Asia. Come on, Sia Keran. Yeah. He's very popular. Yeah, Ram Rasia. And coming up with the love. He is a Thai sweetheart. You know what we call? Uh, I call him yes, yes. Mr. National Husband. Yeah. Mr. National Husband. <laughs> it came from it came from me in the meeting room. Okay, let's bring him. You know, we love him so much. 
bring a national husband to our event. And then after that, everyone just call him national husband. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. <laughs> now the national husband is going to be at the forefront of a national movement. So yes. The worldwide movement. Yeah. And this is big shock also. You know, I think uh, this is a good transition for him right. um, to become the uh, world actor. Right. Yeah. Um, he plays so well. I just cannot imagine the straight uh, person, uh, yes. the handsome actor, yes. who can play, who can become, mm -hmm. and he lost so much weight. The gesture, the way that he did on the screen, amazing. Look, uh, he looks more women, uh, more feminine, feminine than me. I said that, you know. <laughs> You're more feminine than me, actually. <laughs> yes. On the screen, yes. how yes. come? Yes. 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 More feminine, yes. uh, because you practice a lot, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. I did. Yeah, a lot of rehearsal. So, what are your global plans for the film? Uh, the distribution, we yes. have like seventeen uh, markets next year okay. that we are going to attend. Every um, where in the world, Shop. almost every continent in the world that we're gonna go. Okay. So we showcase his title. Okay. Almost everywhere, including in Thailand, okay. uh, he's gonna come back to Thailand. She's the national husband and all <laughs> fans up there. We get uh, we'll be shocked with the new role. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people will say that I forced him to play this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. He did that himself before I met him. <laughs> he plays me, trans woman. So well, so good. You're gonna be a mess with this incredible actor. Yeah. Sure. So your final words for the message for society at large? Understanding. We need to have a better understanding and um, transgender education. The one that I give through Lyft right. is um, going to be from Thailand first, oh. you know, and then can spread, come across to India, to everywhere, sure. on Asia, and also sure. around the world. Okay. As long as, you know, we have the motivation, uh, inspiration, the good willingness to do right. this together. Right that uh, we have to bring a better world right. to the society, not just LGBT, mm -hmm. um, but everyone right. can help, can help sure. to bring the better world. I mean, when we understand right. that they're born mm -hmm. like this, you know, they, don't, they do not choose, and they have the equal human rights to become who they are. This is the most important, but I leave it to all those transgender people also. Okay. Don't uh, keep asking for your human rights alone, but keep proving yourself. This is what I'm saying. Right. Lift gives you education. Sometimes you don't have to wait for lift. Right. You push yourself beyond the limit that you have to do. Right, you prove yourself, you become successful. People will come and respect you anyway, and that would help yourself, help me, and help everybody else in the world who they are trans women trans men to lift them up to lift a better image that we can be professional this is what i said we can be genius we can be smart we can be rich we can be successful you can help don't wait for your help don't wait for the help alone help yourself to become successful concentrate on your job on your work think positive and um you can become who you are, right. and they will respect you, my dear. Certainly, they will. All right, fine. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you so much.